When you meditate, you've got the mind training the mind. This is where the image of the committee comes in useful, because there are some parts of the mind that don't want to be trained. They want to do things their old ways. But you have to remember the Buddhist basic message is your old ways are causing you to suffer. If you really want happiness, you have to change your ways. So the part of the mind that realizes that that's true, that becomes the trainer inside. That has to do with all the other members of the committee. And the weird thing about this committee is that everybody looks like you. Everybody sounds like you. So you have to be very careful to figure out who's the genuine you, who's not. It's like that story that they tell about Chula Bandaka. His older brother, Mahabandaka, was ashamed of him because Chula Bandaka was pretty stupid. He couldn't even memorize a meditation topic properly. And so one day the monks were invited off for a meal, and Mahabandaka didn't include him in the invitation. So Chula Bandaka was feeling upset, so he went and meditated. And his mind entered the jhanas, and he developed psychic powers. So when the Buddha found out that Chula Bandaka was ready to come, he told the sponsor that there was one more monk that had to come. And so the sponsor sent one of his servants to invite Chula Bandaka. Chula Bandaka made himself into many different versions of himself. So there were 500 Chula Bandakas all over the monastery. And so he went up to one of them and asked, where's Chula Bandaka? And the first one pointed to somebody else, and he went to the second one they pointed to somebody else. And so he went back told the Buddha, and the Buddha said, well, next time you go, as soon as the, the first monk is about to open his mouth, grab hold of his arm. So the servant did, and all 500 Chula Bandhikas got concentrated back into that one. So you've got a committee that's like that, versions of you all over the place, and all of them pointing to somebody else as being responsible for the problems in the mind. You've got to say, okay, well, whoever I'm speaking to right now, that's the first problem I've got to deal with. There's a story that tells the king of Thailand came to see the Budun one time and asked him what order the defilements should be dealt with. And the Budun said, well, whichever one comes up first, deal with that one first. So whatever's coming up in your mind that's obstreperous and not going with the training, you've got to deal with that. And as you deal more skillfully, convincing everyone in the mind that this is for your own good, and the training gets a lot more more. Convenient, things come more smoothly inside. So no matter how much you may pick up from an outside teacher, you've got to have an internal teacher looking after you all the time. Identify with that internal teacher as much as you can. Train that internal teacher so it's really good, it's really skillful. And all the other versions of you will begin to fall in line. And when everybody falls in line, that's when the mind really can be unified. And it's when the mind is unified that it has a sense of well, genuine well-being.